Tracy C. Grace is not a very complex person. Although I have a very dry sense of humor, I tend to make myself laugh sometimes more than I make other people laugh, but I'm a very conscientious person and someone who was raised on three main philosophies. Love God, love your family, and love other people. Dr. Tracy Greggs does not differ very much from Tracy Greggs. You just put a title in front, that's about it. But the same person, the same principles, the same mores, the same values. A lot of times, and I've heard this many times from people to say, well, I don't think that you can be a Christian if you're very educated. You know, I don't care how many degrees you have. If you have a love for God, you have a love for God. My parents had a deep love for education. We have so many educators in our family. And I came along after the Civil Rights Movement. My parents actually lived through the Civil Rights Movement, along with my two older brothers who went to um, jail in Birmingham. Uh, marching with um, Dr. King. There were always field trips to learn more. It was just a, a major part of who I am. I went to college to actually become a pediatric dentist, but I've always had a gift for gab. So when I went off to college, my parents sort of said, mm, we just don't see you having your hand in somebody's mouth all day long. You've got to utilize that gift that God has called you to, to have. So getting a degree in education from the University of Alabama was my first undertaking. And just coming up here to Raleigh and going to NC State and accomplishing two master's degrees from there. And just the love to be an educational leader, but also an educational advocate. When I was growing up in Birmingham, every Sunday we would have a program, Sunday program, but there would be a little leaflet inside the program that listed all the sick and shut in. And so every Sunday evening after dinner, I would go through that list and start calling everybody on that sick and shut, shut in list and just pray for them. And so my parents said, yeah, we told you God has a special calling for you. And I started speaking at a very early age at the conventions. And there's actually a picture in my book where I'm doing a youth day message at the age of 10 years old. So over the years, God has equipped me and he has really opened doors for me to use that instructor teacher calling. Well, my book, Things Mama Said, Lessons of Hugs, Helping Us Grow Spiritually, is an homage to my mom. And growing up, she could say, just little things that she would call mother wit. But the book, Things Mama Said, actually takes a lot of those mother wit statements that she would say, parallel it with a quote, a scripture from the word of God that aligns with that. And it tells a story, a real life story that actually happened. Well, the Bible says to whom much is given, much is required. And I don't think that God put my trajectory in place for me to collect all this knowledge and not use it to benefit someone else. The agency that I work for, the healthcare agency, our focus is dementia care. One of the things I do too is to train employees on dementia care and also go out and train families and clients and other resources in the community about dementia, the different types of dementia, what it looks like, and how to best work with their loved one who has dementia. I've taught in the local schools. I've been a district administrator for Wake County Schools for several years. I was also director of education for North Carolina for many, many, many years, as well as a professor for NC State University and University of Mount Olive. But from a Christian standpoint, I've also had the opportunity to teach from um, teaching for over 10 years, women's Sunday school classes at the women's prison here in Raleigh. Also founding, co-founding, and even starting, oh my gosh, probably 10 or more women retreats at different churches in North Carolina and South Carolina. So having the opportunity to teach 
and to educate, to expound, whether it's the curriculum for the state, to teach principals, superintendents, students at the master's level at the university, to really teaching and explaining God's word. All of that balled up in one big ball have just been the epitome of my life's calling. I am Dr. Tracy Collette Greggs, and I am a 2021 hero.